This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Welcome back, and we've got some good news for you here. It looks like we're going to have a short match, a three over bash in our second game of the day between Afyon Karahisar and Belgrade. So match 22 was delayed due to rain, and just over an hour after our scheduled start time, we should be able to get some play underway. Yep, looking forward to this one, and we're going to see a side who have uh, won this tournament in the past and have generally been fairly consistent over the course of the ECS here in Croatia. And he starts off with one that's uh, going to be given out, so gets a wicket off the very first delivery. What an incredible start here. Absolutely terrific start. That's a top delivery, and Mesut Oster, who of course had a brilliant ECS over in Bulgaria, Grabs a wicket off his very first ball. Let's take a look at this delivery one more time. Yeah, oh boy. You can see that ball just straights quite a bit. It's been completely misjudged by Ramian Kanuswamy. And he's going to depart for a golden duck. Derek's going to come out to greet him. Of course, it is Friday, so Peacock Friday Derek is obviously going to be in store for our viewers. That's going to be the end. And it went on to be an LBW. So, yeah, I think could have some concerns here about penalty runs. We'll keep you updated. Uh, so it's struck straight down the ground. Doesn't have enough power on it to get it out of the ring. And that's going to be a single. They didn't really have a chance to launch a title defense, but they're going to lose another wicket here. What a disastrous start for them. Arunagiri completely misses that ball, plays the long line, and Ostork grabs a second. Boy, this guy, he's been on a wicket-taking spree over the course of this summer. We saw he bagged a handful over in Bulgaria and gets one over here as well. The batter just backing away, looking to push out of that one. And it strikes his stumps. Another wicket will fall. And what a disastrous start for the Serbian side. They are in dire straits. The 22 ECS, he was the top run-getter in this series and also the second-highest wicket-taker, so... He had a wonderful all-round performance. Oh, that's another great delivery there by Mesut Oztürk. Nice bang on the money, isn't he? Bang on the money to start off. You could bet that he was rearing to go out there. Would have been very frustrated to see the rain come down. He just needs to make full use of that talent. This one is just going to hold up there. And oh, should be a simple run out. Should be a simple run out. And it's an absolute calamity for Belgrade, isn't it? Nothing is going right for this side to start things off. There is no timing whatsoever on that shot. It just spins and spins and holds up right there at the end of the pitch. And that is about as easy a run out you will ever see. Ali Ozdemir whipping the bales off. Another one bites the dust for Belgrade. And really, things couldn't get much worse for them right now, I think. Uh, this one is struck hard. Could be another run out. Could be another run out. Let's have a look at this. And we're going to take a look at this side on here to confirm. Have they lost their fourth wicket? Yes, one just played into the pitch. And well, let's take a look at this here. Ooh, well think he might just have slid his bat in time or has he has he well let's just try to zoom in right here let's try to zoom in right here and maybe take this back a frame as well is there anything over the line over there or is that bat just stuck on top of that white line oh, this is gonna be a tough call it really is i mean you wouldn't want to be in the third umpire shoes over here and i think they've uh, Seemed that illegal delivery, and oh my goodness, it's another no ball. What's he doing here, Mehmet Sinar? Why does he keep trying to bang it in short? That's another one that's gone above shoulder height. They were all getting a little bit frustrated on the sidelines, watching the rain come down. They're like, look, we really want to get a game in, and I'm glad we've been able to. Got him! That's another wicket 
for this Afyon Karahisar side. Kozgun joins in on the party as well. And Belgrade find themselves 10 for 4 as soon as they crack the double digits. The ball is staying a touch low. But in all honesty, it wasn't the best shot either. Very hard to describe that. It's, it's more of a nothing shot. And uh, well, the batter just had a word with the umpire as he was walking off. Wonder what it was about because obviously can't consider should say can't really uh, debate that decision because <laughs> it was clean bold. But overall, I don't think they'll be too pleased with how they did over the course of that ECS. End of this innings and Belgrade managed to muster just 10 runs. So in theory, Afyon Karahisar could wrap this game up in a couple of balls in the second innings. This very poor performance by uh, Belgrade uh, in this innings. There's no other way to put it, I think. Of course, the conditions are very difficult to play, and you have to sympathize with a lot of the players, but uh, you'd think they'd do a lot better than that. You really would. Welcome back, and we are set for the start of the second innings of match 22. Now, Belgrade with a fairly pitiful performance with a bat in hand in that first innings. They managed to make just the 10 runs. Yeah, that was a real struggle, wasn't it, for the uh, champions of 2022. They're just not looking like the team we saw a couple of years ago. The umpires are ready. The players are ready, and we are moments away from starting this second innings. As you can see, Belgrade given just a 3% chance to win this game. I'd say 3% might be optimistic as well, considering Afyon Karasar just need to get 11 runs to win. Here we go. First ball of the second. And it's a dot ball to start off over here. Uh, Karkin not really getting close to the line. This is played away toward deep third, and it's going to go away for a boundary. So the first boundary of this match, we, of course, didn't see Belgrade strike a single boundary over the course of their innings. They managed to make just three runs off the bat itself. The other seven runs they managed to get were all courtesy of extras. So a boundary at last. A boundary at last. Got him! Gets a wicket here. And uh, Karkin is going to depart. Having uh, struck a four. Besser Karkin out for a run of ball four. And Gaja Karupasami picks up the wicket, of course. Karupasami failed to score a run in the first inning. So he'll be looking to make amends for some of the issues he had with the bat. And yeah, you can see that one. No real foot movement there for Besser Karkin. And... Just goes between the gap between bat and pad, and he will depart. That's going to be the end for the skipper of this Afyon Karahisar side. In this game, and it's difficult to bat out there. Difficult to field as well. It's still quite wet. But I think all of us would have expected to see a little bit better from Belgrade. They took part in a rain-hit final against Ljubljana. It's played away. Might want to just check the height on this uh, to make sure that it's okay. Now the ball's going to hold up in the outfield. It should be able to come back for a second run uh, fairly comfortably. The throw's just gone to the wrong end here. Really needed to go to the bowler's end. This uh, Belgrade side did win in 2022. The final was rained off, but Belgrade ended up lifting the trophy by virtue of having a better record. And the other finalist, Ljubljana, during the group stages. And this should go away for four runs. And that is going to be the game. As Afyon Karasar beat Belgrade by nine wickets with eight balls to spare. In this little brief three-over bash. The conditions certainly made things quite challenging for the players out in the end. But they were so eager to go out there and have a game. And I'm glad we did manage to get this match in. So uh, Afyon Karasar will be very pleased with this result. Belgrade... I think they need to look back at some of the issues they had with their batting. Granted, it was challenging to bat out there, but I'm sure they'll feel they could have done a lot better.